joining me for another video, if you're joining me for the first time, hello! Okay, so I have in front of me a large doll haul, and this doll haul has been over several weeks, even possibly a couple of months, of um, thrift store finds, auction wins, and flea markets. I've grouped them all together, as um, I was told that everybody enjoys when I group the types together, such as everybody loves when I did the big buy little pony haul, or I put the, all the brats together, etc. So... This is a big dollar, which has actually been sitting aside to go through processing, which means that they get washed, they get scrubbed, they get repainted, their hair gets done, and they get outfits. <laughs> so I finally got through the big My Little Pony lot. I am now onto this lot. So I'm going to start right with a really the most recent one since this video here now you can see that i got this guy from the thrift store from three dollars i do all my i'm in new zealand so i'll always put a u.s conversion down there of what i pay for them you will see that this is an official hercules doll and i'm super duper excited i don't even remember this guy in the stores or if you could get him from new zealand here's jay sark Isaac? Is it Isaac? Oh no, it looks like Isaac. <laughs> it doesn't look like a J suck. So obviously an Isaac once owned this guy and now he is ours. He's got his clothes on. He's jointed in the elbow and knee. So extra articulation in him. And look how handsome he is. I'm not a male doll collector. A lot of my subscribers will know that. I'm just not into male dolls. But dolls like this male dolls with little differences in them I really really love and so does Astra we always try and find different sort of ones okay right down to the front here I almost screeched when I saw it at the markets oh goodness me <laughs> sorry baby her hood does fit on her nicely why is it off her okay got her a little it's still got to be pulled forward a little bit but um I'll fuss with that when I'm doing her because I'm actually gonna I know why it was off now I actually have to scrub behind her face there she's in pretty good condition though so this one is a large weighted beanie baby from Ann Geddes the ladybird and I find Ann Geddes dolls rather hard to find now to be quite honest in New Zealand um I got some in a haul I don't know was it a few months back now I'm not sure um I got some in a haul for $4 each for the smaller sizes. This one here was actually $8 New Zealand, which goes well out of my normal plushy sort of realm of where I pay five up to $5 in the market. But they're just so hard for me to find for $8. I had to pick this little sweetheart up. I mean, she's so incredibly heavy, and I haven't seen one of the large ones in a long time. And she's so cute. I can't wait to put her. She's actually going up in my room. I like her. She's mine. All right, so next, oh, this thing, um, <laughs> say this thing, okay, so I watch a channel called J Dolls, and I know she loves these diva stars, we have seen so many diva stars, and Astra and I just, we're not fans, quite honestly, we're not fans, we're not sure if she works, which is why we only paid two dollars for her, um, let's get her face in view there the girl said last she used her she worked i i'm just not a fan of diva stars because all of the cuts across the head they always look like they've had lobotomies to me and i i don't like that i wish that they if they didn't have these at the top of them i would like them a bit more and i think she's a bit nicer than the skinny ones in that her face is a bit more i don't know realistic not so boxy not a not a fan of boxy dolls but yeah so we got her for $2, that's right, $2 off the girl. Alright, so next on to a Facebook win, which I picked up. Um, these ones were $10 for the entire bag from memory, and I was so incredibly happy with this one. It is a Disney toddler Meridale. Let's get her face in there. She has her crown on. Her hair is in need of a shampoo, a straighten, and then a hot curl on straws reset. But that's okay. She's pretty clean. Just needs a little bit of a scrub going down to her outfit here. And she has her shoes on. So, yeah, I was super duper excited about her picking her up. And then... The re reason I paid $10 for her, sure she also came with, now is this a Hasbro version? This looks like, 
no no this is a Mattel the Hasbro ones have the big faces and this is quite a big face but it's a Mattel I actually prefer the Mattel Disney dolls to the Hasbro ones came with a little doll of her but oh my goodness she came with all her brothers in bear form I'm so incredibly happy because I would easily just happily paid a dollar each for each of these bears <laughs> just to have her brothers so they're all going to be scrubbed up I'm very very happy so that was $10 New Zealand for all of that in the auction win going to another Facebook I'm loving Facebook marketplace hey you can get some amazing deals I've actually been getting really good deals on Facebook auction um, Facebook marketplace for vintage toys as well I've picked up a lot of vintage toys for about half the price I would on say an auction site such as eBay so next this little sweetheart here she was not alone I paid ten dollars for the lot I got her and I got a bunch of plushies. Now, I was not so much interested in the plushies. Um, I actually put them back into the Salvation Army system, which is what you should do with toys that you don't really want. $10 for her. I was so happy. This is an Owl Generation doll. She has the baby doll eyes. Um, and she has the hair grow mechanism, like a Rapunzel. If I can get that into focus. So she has the hair grow mechanism. It does work. It's just very, very scrappy. So I don't want to do it until I get into a straightener with it. I was so incredibly happy to pick her up because you can't buy her anymore in the shops. And she's beautiful. And I have a lot of 18 inch doll outfits that I can't wait to get her in. Okay, coming down here, we'll do a, another flea market find. We just call them markets in New Zealand, but I know in America they call them flea markets. So in here is a bunch of Kelly dolls, and I showed this on Instagram when I got it, and Barbie dolls. Now the Barbie dolls I paid a dollar, I believe, for from memory. The Barbie dolls were a dollar, but then I got all these Kelly dolls and other little things for 50 cents to 20 cents each. So that's a little bag. So first off, let's look at the Barbies. We have a flat-footed Barbie right here. If it wants to get in focus. I know the Brett's baby is gorgeous in the background, but please stick with me. <laughs> so we have this Barbie. She has her earrings for a dollar. And she's got a nice face on her, so she just needs to be cleaned up. And this one here, which Astra was so incredibly sad that she did not have blue eyes, but she has green so that's really good. She is a brunette, which is Astra's favorite type of doll. She has basic articulation. Nice. Then, oh my goodness, let me bring the camera down a bit. I have all these little Kelly dolls. They were 50 cents each. <laughs> now, I do not have enough Kelly doll clothes spare to um, dress them all. But they will be put into my nudie doll box, which basically after they get a clean, they go into the nudie doll box and they await. Look at that one has freckles on. Oh, I love when they have freckles on. Um, and they await their turn. So they're all good quality, just missing their clothes and needing a scrub. <laughs> What's the area is a bit witchy, isn't it? <laughs> witchy and wild. And part of the reason for this video is just to show you what you can get. If you go to the markets, the flea markets, if you go to the Facebook marketplace, if you go to the thrift stores, there's thrift stores ones over there, um, what you can pick up because you pay a lot more for official auction sites, you tend to get secondhand dealers now and um, though you can still pick up the occasional dealer uh, the occasional cheapy or um, it's very rare in between though you've got all these dealers I don't think that's a Kelly doll um, to contend with you still can get very cheap toys if you're willing to put in the lead work and just you know watch the various sites um, 
I cringe sometimes at what I see other people pay for dolls. <laughs> so this is a Littlest Pet Shop Blythe doll. These were actually quite expensive for a while. So I think I actually have some um, tiny Blythe doll clothes available. She's got a nice bob cut to her. So again, all those Kelly dolls. Now these were 20 cents each. And the first two I grabbed as soon as she said 20 cents because they are vintage strawberry shortcake pets. 1982 on this one and 1984 on that one. I believe that is uh, with one of the original dolls and this one is with strawberry shortcake party pleaser, which is a super duper bargain. Um, I have been asked to do a video on, actually quite a few times now, in PMs on my hints and tips for you know, for vintage finding and um, that sort of malaki. I will do a video where you will actually see some of my hints and tips what to look for. One of the ones I'll say right now is go through the boxes. Things like this, 20 cents each. This is a magic diaper baby. Um, mermaid, these can sell for quite a lot. If you're not sure what those are. All right, so I'm gonna pull this girl out here. This girl came from a market haul and she was effectively thrown in free with the other girls who I think I paid $2 each for the other girls. But you will see that she is missing all her hair and the seller just said, okay, I'll just throw her in free. I love her face. She's got that sparkly makeup face. So that's really, really good. So that one there, okay, uh, let's get back up to the main lot <laughs> all right so one I uh, now these here were from a marketplace haul that's a shoe it's come randomly come off someone I won't worry about the shoe these were three dollars and I was quite happy to pay three dollars as this is a melody meowledy or persferone persferone um I can't say it right she has her clothes on, she has her boots, more importantly than that, she has her tail, because a lot of the dolls, the cat ones and stuff, I find are missing their tail. She's got her bracelets on, really good quality. She's not messy at all. $3 New Zealand, I was super duper happy to pick her up. I do not know if she's in her original outfit. Um, that's something that I'll research as I'm redoing her hair. I'm pretty sure that's her hairstyle, so it's super duper easy. I like hairstyles that are ponytails. And then she will go up to Astra's play box. Now, this Barbie I paid $3 for along with her. More for her coat than anything else. I love this coat. It's a, not an official coat. It's handmade. But whoever's done it, this is when you can tell that doll clothes are good, has done all this overlocking on and beautiful small stitches and overlocking so it's not going to fray easy it just needs a clean and when it's on her it looks amazing i think it's going to look even better on a straight arm doll so the doll herself um it looks like she's had a haircut but it's just because there is so much muck in her hair that it just needs to be washed and cleaned out she has a really cheap dress on i do not think this dress is official i could be wrong Nah, there's nothing in there. It's just a cheapy dress. So um, the doll herself is a standard Barbie. Which uh, seems to be... She's got gifting hands. She's giving you something, darling. But uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> mostly brought that for the coat. Alright, okay, we got some boys dolls. We got some Kens. Alright, um, these may be from the thrift store. No, he isn't. He is... He is and... He is. Oh no, he is too. I thought he must be. So we know on my thrift stores. Generally all the thrift stores in New Zealand use a little ticket price on them, whether they're handwritten or on here. So we got some cans. This guy was $2.50. He's got his outfit on and he's got one shoe. He's you lost your shoe, sweetheart. We've got to get you another shoe, darling. That's alright. I prefer the Kendalls that actually have real hair. But but he's, he's alright looking. Not much of a boy doll collector. So when it comes to Ken dolls, I'm kind of like, eh. Now, this guy we actually got in another lot. Um, a big Barbie lot. Um, 
I think he may be one of the happy family men. Now, I researched the other one, but he had glue. If you remember in that hall, if you saw that hall, I'm pretty sure he had glue around here or here or somewhere. So I found him again. This guy's in a lot better, but I can see now why they glued the head down. It's not broken in any way. It's just the plastic is escaping each other. I, I'm guessing that's a common problem with him. He has this shirt on which tends to, to hide it so I'm going to see if putting it in hot water or doing some sort of reset will do that but I don't want to glue it together because I want him to be able to move his hair. He's got these Oh, he's, he's got these shades on. He's a cool dude. He was two dollars. He's got his boots on and some pants. I think this may be the happy families guy. I definitely remember him having him from another haul but he just had a bit of an issue with him. Alrighty, we got a surfer can or beach can or something. His glasses are kind of stuck in there with um, elastic <laughs> going around. He's got the same problem. It's almost like they've they've come into contact with something which has made this their heads want to escape their body. <laughs> They're not broken. They just need to be reset somehow. I'll work it out. He's got his his shorts on. He's looking very Hawaiian there. Oh, he's lovely, darling. He's a blondie. And uh, he was $2 New Zealand from the thrift store. Very good quality. The last dude. His shirt's fallen apart. Yeah, this is, this is not salvageable. This is what happens when they start to fray. So we'll just rip that off him. This guy here was a dollar. Probably because of that shirt issue. And his pants are falling down too. You're not in a good way, are you, sweetheart? So he's another blondie. He's got a bit of a hmm face on him, hasn't he? He's contemplating life. <laughs> I, don't, I think these are Barbie pants. I can't, I can't see how this can go around Ken's hips here. But there we go. One dollar. Really good quality. You know, rather than spending, even on the Playline Kens, I'm in New Zealand, they're usually about $15 now on the um, Fashionista Kens. Get one from the thrift store for a dollar. Alright, what are we going to do next? Alright, I found out the back another can which I purchased. And just to show something that you must look for, I'm pretty good at this and Astra is excellent at this, but sometimes things through, it's fall through when we don't look. This was purchased from a thrift store for $2. Look at those hands. Look at those munched on fingers. This is why I never could have a doggy in the house around my dolls. The amount of horror posts of people losing their vintage toys to little puppies having a chew. <laughs> I saw one recently and it was like she showed her keepers and stuff. It was like, no, why would you do that? Why would you let an animal in your doll room? But, you know, different strokes with different folks. This guy, we didn't check his hands. Um, and he's got such lovely hair. I'd love to hair fix this hair. This guy is going to go in my custom box, which... Um, I'll find something to do with him just because I like his hair. I want that hair. <laughs> it's a shame because he looks like he's some sort of ballet Ken too, which is kind of cool. Oh well. Okay, let's get on to the La La Loopsies down the front. So this little sweetheart here I paid $3 for. Now she does have some issues that need to be dealt with. Um, La La Loopsies are quite expensive on the New Zealand market. You're normally looking at about $15 for a La La Loopsie second hand. She does have fraying on her skirt. I'm going to take out the extra threads with a um, tweezer, just be very careful, and then spray with an anti-fray sealer around the edges. I'm not too worried about it as it's all over, so it actually looks like it's meant to be that way. I don't know. I have the yellow version of this doll, but she's missing her dress. She has her boots, which is super duper cool with me. She does look fairly clean, but she does have some pen marks up here. Pen marks are generally the least, I think they're one of the few things that us doll collectors kind of go, eh, to, because that should be an easy clean for me. All right. That was enough rambling with that girl. Sorry, sweetheart. I didn't mean to ramble. This one here was $2, and I'm so happy we found her because I think, now I'm saying I think 
we have the other pixie. Now they usually come in these little um, pixie pods which you put them in and it just shows their face. It's adorable but because I got this from the market she's just by herself. Two dollars for this little pixie la la loopsie. She just needs a bit of a toothbrush, toothpaste and toothbrush scrub and she's going to be gorgeous. How cute is that? She was from the market. All right, I'm back the next day. The camera died just as I was going through the Barbies, so I'm hoping that it's up to date with all the Barbies I've gone through. Um, and while I was recharging, I found down in the container to the side <laughs> for sorting another auction win that I had with dolls and a couple of this one here, some other Barbies that I have. So I'm going to get back to it with the Barbies from the thrift store. Which one was I up to? I think it was this one. Yes, the one with the very pretty face. So I'm just going to bring her up. To me, this is a very bold face. Like, look at that makeup and painting. It is bright. Well, not bright, but bold colors. You know, you cannot miss that. I really love this. She has soft, soft hair. Beautifully soft hair. Silky hair. She's a nud doll, and we got her from the thrift store for $2. I'm just going to turn off the light behind me. It's casting a shadow, so it might be a little bit more shadowy here, but mm, no, it's all right. <laughs> Go for this one here. This one was, oh, is this a thrift store find or a market find? This may have been a thrift store or market find. I can't find any price tag on it, but this is another Barbie that I brought for this coat. This is a handmade coat, and I love it. Look at all those colors. It's knitted. So it's an overcoat, obviously, because it's too bulky to be anything fitting. It's got these gorgeous gold buttons in. I just love it. I absolutely love it. Now the Barbie herself, she's got one of my favorite type of Barbie paintings. I, I love, um, this is the 90s, isn't it? Yeah, the 90s sort of style. Um, she's got earrings in, but they look like they're snapped somewhere. So I'm just going to chop off those little bits at the back so she can have those big circles. And then she has this heart but yeah I mostly brought her for the coat because I love that coat I from the markets my rules on dolls is generally a dollar to three dollars so she would have been in that range somewhere so that one there if she was from the thrift store kind of the same rule applies for secondhand dolls all right now oh, this one here was from the thrift store for two dollars fifty she has that, my daughter's like, Mommy, she's got that weird thing in. So these ones were made to be movable with their, you know, I think they're like hip hop ones. And I thought there was also a, like a sleepy one that was kind of thing. But basically made to have all that joint in the middle, which is really cool. Um, does she have snap legs? She has snap legs. So she has snap legs, movement in the middle. And then they don't give her articulated elbows. <laughs> I swear it's so weird when companies do things like that. If you're going to make her movable, go the whole hog. But I really, really love this doll. So she is obviously an um, ethnic doll. And I really love her face. And her hair, again, is silky soft. And I just love that extra movement in her. You know, we're going to get some booty wiggles in there. <laughs> All right. Next, Barbie. All right. I think this might be like a fairy topier or swan like one of the movie style Barbies, just looking at the face. So, this one here was from the thrift store and it was $2. She just got like a movie face to me. I don't know, Swan Lake or the Nutcracker or something like that. I don't know. Uh, her hair is soft. It's a soft type of hair again, but it is really bad. And you can see it's tried to retain some of its original style, but I'm just going to pull it apart and wash it and put it in the bucket for when she decides to get clothes. Actually, I think this one's face would be awesome for a Hello Kitty dress. Look at the, the pink makeup. That would be cool with a, one of those Hello Kitty packs. I've got some of those out in storage. What else we got here? Oh, this little sweetheart. I love this one. So again, I think this may be one of the movie Barbies. Um, just look at the face. Maybe I should turn that on. Yeah, there we go. It's a bit brighter. Sorry if they were a bit shadowy. A bit brighter if I turn it on. 
but just look at this makeup like glitter overload sparkly hair different kinds of hair down to her body so it's all painted on which is kind of a shame but she is a mermaid barbie so and she's got the shimmer i don't know if that's showing but there's like a shimmer a glitter to her tail yeah i love this one she's just so happy looking i love her things that are colorful and happy so astra was super excited about that one too all right uh we have oh this is another one of the kelly's from the 50 cent pile it must have fallen out so another little 50 cents cutie here with black hair she's almost an ori oh, she's an oriental looking one isn't she i love and astra especially um astra goes for the asian barbies a lot a lot of her um where we live is um a lot of her friends are asian etc uh so let's go on this was i don't remember where this was but um for a little shoppy doll, my thing would be 50 cents to $2, depending on if I need her or not, and what accessories she comes with. So she came with her dress. I think that's a lippy lip, isn't it? I think this might be lippy lips um, shoppy doll. Yeah, I see the lipstick up here. I was trying to rack my brains. I'm not sure where she came from. Sorry, these have been sitting around for a while. Oh, so this was from the Salvation Army store. You can see it was New Zealand $3 right there. So we have this really wild hair brats. Like serious wild hair. Her face, however, is the classic gorgeous brats face. She's got a mark there. I'm not too worried about that. And then someone's done her up in a real brown sort of get up. We've got a three-quarter length jacket. Some gold shorts with animal print leggings three-quarter leggings too they don't go right down to her ankle um and a white white sh uh, white singlet i should say um and some cool 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 boots so yeah astra always gets really excited about brats as well just because they've got that really um cool look to them i'm gonna bring these forward and be right back Okay, so she's been standing around waiting. You can see she's really grubby. We already have the Chloe Big Bratz baby, but we have her with the pink ear pieces in. So obviously this is a different set or addition of some sort. Um, this one has blue ones, and the one we have is in the authentic outfit. This is obviously homemade. Um, I don't think a Bratz girl would be caught dead in that. <laughs> that's a bit more grandma than um trend setting isn't it <laughs> this outfit but she's incredibly grubby and she does have her shoes so many brats babies i see without their shoes so i love it when they come with their shoes i paid from memory around three dollars new zealand for her um okay so something which i broke my rules on now now Moana, this Moana doll I believe does not come with shoes. She comes with a little thing on her wristlet. This I got from the store for $9.99. She was not the only thing, however, in this bag. And I can't remember for the life of me what else was in this bag. Um, it was a plushie of some sort. And I worked it out. $5 for the plushie I wanted. And five, might have been a, it actually might have been a Care Bear. Yeah, it might have actually been a Care Bear. $5 for the Care Bear and $5 for this Moana. Um, Moana is actually on special for brand new in the box for $22. So I might actually buy a brand new Moana and gift this little sweetheart on. Here she is up close. They did such a good head mold on her. I think you can instantly tell that she is an Islander as opposed to other darker cultures. Um, they tend to have the wide noses and the wide faces oh, she's so pretty i'm so happy to have her i might buy her brand new though i may give this one away and buy her brand new because the doll has come on clearance down to 22 dollars new zealand um and i just like when they're brand new out because if they're brand new out and astra and i take a liking to them they go on display somewhere around that way around that way <laughs> 
All right, so two auction wins left. Now, I paid $15 New Zealand for the first bag. I'll go into it and specifically why I brought it. <laughs> so first off, there are a few Barbies in there. There's a lot of Barbie heads in there. Um, we've got this little Barbie. She has mummy Barbie face. Mummy Barbie face where she looks semi bemused and semi wonder, you know, she's planning her day. She's got three kids to look after. <laughs> she's, she's putting on that half smile. She does have her earrings in and she is the white panties Barbie. A bit grubby, but that's all right. Nothing a good scrub can't clean up. Let's have a look. Oh, I like this Ken. Um, he's got, he's the, um, Clean shave, Ken, I think it is. Oh my goodness. I, I mean, if I start doing things, I'll put their, like, what identify down there. But I think this is the clean shave guy. And the reason I say that, if you look on this side, you can see, well, I'm not sure where the outline is for the shave. And then on this side, it's clearly, um, you can clearly see the beard. So I'm pretty sure it's clean shave Ken or something like that. And he has real hair. I like the Kens with real hair. Uh... We've had this top before in some other lot. I remember this top, but this one comes with the backpack. So that's kind of cool. So you can put your stuff in there or maybe carry a little tyke around. And he has some oh, past the knee shorts there. He doesn't have clicky legs. But yeah, so he came in this lot. I'm just going to point out something that you have to be very careful with color change dolls. This always happens no matter what and you'll see it on vintage toys that have color change mechanisms you almost always see like um people explaining color change mechanism no longer works and this is why i say with lol dolls if you've got color changing lol dolls probably in about 10 years time they're going to be something like this better off getting the ones without the cc in them Alrighty, what have we got oh we got an ex that is not a barbie what on earth is that <laughs> Is this a Cindy? Do, 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 do. Get your hair out the way. Hasbro. Well, we have some ballet shoes down here. Da, 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 da. We have a ballet dress. It's actually really pretty clean. It only needs a bit of a tiny bit of a scrub. And we have a oh, we've got a hand up here that rotates. So you can go. <laughs> that should be easy to identify her. So this is a Hasbro doll. She's a bit deer struck in the headlights, isn't she? With her eyes, but that's alright. That's kind of cool. Looks complete, so nice. Still getting to the... <laughs> Still getting to what I brought it for. But, um... Interesting. This will go in the custom box. You never know when you need to lop off someone's legs and things. It's a headless can. Headless horseman. That's what I should do. All right, we have, what is this? This is a nothing. No, I didn't mean to call you a nothing. It's not nice to call. Okay, this is a rotate back into the system dolly. I don't really care if it's a vintage doll or not or to look it up. Um, looks like she's got one sock missing. I don't want it. So that one can go away. Alrighty. Oh, here we go. Uh, this isn't the reason I brought this bag, but um, this is a Sunny Family or Sunny Day Family. Sunny Family. I'll have it down the bottom somewhere. This is a Sunny Family doll. They're vintage. Um, her hair is in desperate need of a clean. These things look like they've been stored. And she's got a couple of nicks on her leg here. Now these dolls had articulation in their knees. Um, were they Hasbro or Mattel? They're Mattel, 1973. Yeah, so they are real vintage. Um, this is the mother doll, and they had these eyes, and I don't think they were ever popular because of these eyes. They kind of don't have whites to them, and they stare into your soul, sort of um, dolls. And I'll get out the baby that comes with it. So we have the Sunny Family Baby. It's a very cute little tyke. I'm going to put this into my alternate dolls box. It's nothing I really collect, and um, we'll see what happens. <laughs> Look at the hair. Is that totally hair, Barbie? No, it's not totally hair, Barbie. Oh, she's got a ding out of... This is, this is practice bait, Barbie, but I am taking those earrings. 
It's a shame too, she's got a really cute face on her. I like her. But uh, yeah, we got a Barbie head with a lot of hair that needs to be lopped off. We got some more heads. Oh, this might be the Ken that goes on that body. Save me, help me, help me. What's that a shame? These ones have had a play and, and, and something. You know, if you get to the stage that you have dolls heads that are lopped off, please don't throw them around. There are plenty of doll collectors out there that will still keep the heads and possibly put them on new bodies or restore them or use them as custom bait head. Don't throw them out. I like her face. I like her earrings. I'll happily pay 50 cents for good heads. Wow, that's an old looking Ken. What's that? 1968 Mattel. That's an old looking Ken hen. That's interesting. Maybe someone who knows a bit more about Ken dolls, because I'm not a boy doll collector, can tell me about this dude. He looks like he's got a tan to him, eh? And he's got, he's obviously dyed his hair blonde, because look at those big black eyebrows. That's an old Ken. I didn't notice that one in there. That's cool. So, the reason I brought this. Um, oh, we got a, a skirt. It's a vintage skirt. And that's junk. Um, is for these two dolls. So I was quite happy paying $15 to get all of that that I've just gone through and these ones. So this is a Moon Dreamer and they do sell for quite a lot in New Zealand. I'm not sure about other countries, but um, in New Zealand, Moon Dreamers. Do sell for quite a lot and when I was younger I never really got brought moon dreamers but my mum actually got me two from a what was it from the Takapuna markets I remember two from them and I always or I have no idea what happened to them so I always wanted some more and there we go. I think I have two other moon dreamers. So she's missing her shoes, but she's good to have her outfit. She is missing the little thing that goes on the front there. That I'm not too worried about that. So that was one of the reasons I brought this bag. And this one. Yes. Awesome. It's a Hollywood doll. I had all the Hollywood dolls when I was little. So these for me, I purchase, I do up and... Astra gets the lowdown on who they were and what they were and all that sort of stuff. Um, they're just kind of nostalgic for me and they bring a lot of hot, happy memories because I was a girl that played with my dolls. We didn't have computers, so we played with dollies. <laughs> Love this one. And following on from the Hollywood theme, this was what this auction win was about. Okay, so this lot from memory. This was not... This was not an auction win from an auction site. This was from Facebook Marketplace. And I believe I had this one up on my Instagram. There were two Sweetie Pups that also came in this lot. Now, one of the Sweetie Pups is down here. She is a Collie. I have, as you can see, she needs a good brush. The other Sweetie Pup is the large... Um, sheep dog which I have wanted for so long I believe I paid $20 for this entire lot from the Facebook marketplace it is a lady that I've purchased from before I don't know where she gets her vintage toys but she puts them on Facebook marketplace and they're so incredibly much cheaper than you would get anywhere else um to buy this collie on the New Zealand auction site will be anything from $10 plus so these two larger dogs I got, I would have paid $20 for. I would probably brought this Collie because I've already got like four of her. But, um, <laughs> so all of this in here, let's pull them all out. Yay! Get it all out there. This is the last thing. First off, Rust Trolls. Ha <laughs> ha! I have a large rust troll lot, which I need to go through on camera. If you've been on my Instagram again, you will have seen it. Um, and I got it for super duper cheap. Like, super duper cheap. So this little sweetheart is obviously meant to be a neon hair pink one. She's been in the sun and lost her colour. But she's staying with me because I love rust trolls. Um, this is a couscous baby. Cuckoo kush baby. Kush baby, not really something that I collect. I'll leave it up to Astra whether we keep this one or not. 
Kukukush. I think we've got a couple of them stored away. Ah, a Moon Dream dress. So this is a Moon Dreamer's dress. And there, um, I love these vintage dolls. This high, what is this? Some sort of high baby high chair. It's a Mattel 1997 baby high chair. It's got hearts on it, so it might be heart family. But the heart family one I remember had a large netting between those two bits um, from my youth. Is it a Mattel or something else? Because that does not look. No, this is a this is a uh, a copy doll. It just sees a big print of China across her face. Mac China, whatever that is. Um, very pretty doll. But I am going to take her dress and her shoes and put it on one of our Nutty Kellys. Sweet. <laughs> and then she can go back in the system. All right, we have a throw it in the bin. I, there's no saving that sweetheart. Sorry. <laughs> I know there are lots of doll collectors who hate seeing. This is another um, toys being. Oh, her head. Um, dolls being chucked out, but this. There is no saving that. Um, this is another Mac dolly, so I will just give her back to the thrift stores and they can sell her on to someone who will like her. Alright, getting through this stuff. Oh, this is a McDonald's. Uh, strawberry shortcake. Oh, yeah, McD, yes. That's a McDonald's strawberry shortcake from the new range. I don't really like the new range. I will collect them because I have vintage strawberry shortcakes to put in our strawberry shortcake collection, but I don't. Some of them I am not a fan. I'm sorry, but I am not a fan. They should have kept strawberry shortcake to original design. This is a McDonald's Barbie, and Astra does not have it, and that is a hundred percent a keeper. It's got a little button or something at the back there, but that's a cutie. That is definitely going to stay with us. Oh, this one. And I pulled one of these out last night. Where did I put it? Oh, over here. So this one and this one. Whoops. So that was in the bag too. Because I was having a fossick. Trying to remember things. These two little sweethearts here. I think these are little babies. Or little babies or baby somethings. Um, they are vintage toys. So I'll look them up. I like those. They remind me of magic diaper babies with hair. What do we got? Oh, that is a heart family baby girl dress that is very tatty. I don't think there's going to be any saving that. Oh, dear, 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 dear. It's a shame. On this side it's okay, and then it looks like something's bitten it on this side. I have no idea what this dolly is. Hong Kong. I think this dolly will get rotated back into the system. This little baby. But it's wearing a heart family baby dress. I may throw that out. It doesn't look like there's much saving. I'll make the call later. Oh, another one of these little babies. So I wish I got another little baby. I shall like the little babies. Cute. Okay, getting to my favourites. Wee Wilds. And Hollywood. So we'll go through the Hollywoods first. Here we are. And again, the Hollywoods had colour changing hair, so a lot of their hair is really funky. She's missing some at the back there. Needs a bit of a scrub. So these lots um, usually need a lot of cleaning, but for the price you get these dolls compared to what you actually have to pay online, this one. So it's just another doll. If you're a doll collector and love things, just to look for. That's those are Hollywoods. And another doll I had when I was younger. Wee Wild. Specifically, I had this one. Yay! She came with a little racing car, and I absolutely loved the racing car. So I don't have the racing car. And they had like these little tiny things, um, uh, plastic pieces that you could put in their hair that had like a little picture on or something like that. Um I really, really, really loved these dolls. I think I actually like the Wee Wilds more than the Hollywood dolls. Um, and this one was definitely my favourite. We had a lot of Wee Wild dolls. So I'll put that aside. Now this one I don't think my sister and I had. Because my sister had all these dolls too. But um, I don't know what happened to her stuff. I think Dad dumped most of her stuff when she went to Nelson. And she said she didn't really care. And he needed to get rid of it. Um... 
This is a red-headed one. So we definitely didn't have this sweetheart. I don't remember that one. And this one, oh, I think my sister had this one and it came with a boat. She's got a little fish. So I'm assuming this is the one that came with the boat. So that was my lot of dolls. Um, I do these things because I do get a lot of questions and private messages and stuff about how I get my dolls and stuff so cheaply and when people come over and they see some of the clip collections they say my goodness you must have spent a lot of money you don't have to spend a lot of money to do it you just it's time consuming it's something that you have to be vigilant on you have to know what you're looking for and you do have to have boundaries when you start you can occasionally get out of those boundaries depending on what it is but um it's one of those things if you want to toy collect it is time consuming <laughs> And I will do a video all on it. I hope you enjoyed that doll haul. Um, I love dolls. I hope you love dolls. <laughs> it always feels like I've, I've conquered some sort of like mountain when I get through a big group of them. And these ones have been sitting around a while to go through the process. I've finished my other things so I can go through and do them. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Enough of Mummy's rambling. Please check out my other um, haul videos and you can see... A lot of other vintage toys, a lot of new toys, all very good prices. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.